The Victorian government says the axing of its Belt and Road deal with China won't impact the current infrastructure plans. Patrick Murrell joins me live from Melbourne. Pat, the federal government stepped in and scrapped the deal. That's right, Danica. Four months ago, the federal parliament passed laws allowing the Commonwealth to step in and cancel any deals between state governments and foreign powers. And last night, that new power was exercised for the first time with Foreign Minister Maurice Payne tearing up the controversial Belt and Road deal between China and the Victorian government, as well as two other deals between Victoria and Iran and Syria as well. The Belt and Road Initiative is essentially an infrastructure and trade deal which would give special consideration to Chinese firms bidding on major Victorian infrastructure projects. Uh, in turn, Victorian firms would be allowed to bid uh, for Chinese projects in the Asia-Pacific region. It has uh, been met with criticism, uh, though, with uh, some uh, international relations experts essentially calling it a soft power exercise by the Chinese government. Last night, though, Foreign Minister Maurice Payne cancelled that deal, calling it uh, inconsistent with Australia's foreign policy. Here she is on 2GB Radio earlier this morning. But it is about prioritising Australia's national interests and ensuring that there's consistency across our foreign relations. I want to be very clear that it's not aimed at any one country. You will see from today's cancellations uh, that uh, they include uh, the, the schemes that you've referred to, but also arrangements between, uh, between the state and Syria and the state and Iran. Victorian Government Minister Yala Pulford wouldn't be drawn on any commentary on the federal government decision to rip up this deal about whether it was appropriate, but does say that it won't affect any major infrastructure projects in Victoria going forwards. The federal government's made a decision. They've made it absolutely clear. Um, their view, um, I, I, can, I, I think I can only assume uh, that the federal government in doing so uh, gave due consideration uh, to the consequences of their actions. Our determination to deliver on our major projects agenda um, is unimpacted. Backlash from China, Danica, has been swift. The Chinese embassy releasing a pretty strongly worded statement. It says, this is another unreasonable and provocative move taken by the Australian side against China. It further shows that the Australian government has no sincerity in improving China-Australia relations. It is bound to bring up further damage to bilateral relations. It will only end up hurting itself. So, Pretty strongly worded statement from China there at a time when Chinese-Australia relations are really uh, at a flashpoint. This, though, Danica, was inevitable. The federal government, in particular Prime Minister Scott Morrison, had been calling on the Victorian government to do this for years. Premier Daniel Andrews, though, had been pretty steadfast that this was a good deal for Victoria, and ultimately it took these new laws and the Commonwealth stepping in to tear it up.